What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. War. The mad season is over. Everyone is getting hurt. It's never, ever gonna be good because they are her fucking curse. Yep, here we are again. This, this is why I can't be positive. This is why I can't be positive. Because every time I start to feel positive, catastrophic injuries happen. Okay, Lonzo. Starling Marte are both going to be out for a long time. Frank, it's whenever you lose two of your best players, it's really not a good sign. Mets lost them both in the same inning basically last night. And, um, Did you, know, you see uh, you, Darvish, every time he, he hits something, he went, you know, this, you know, this one. <laughs> <laughs> the strut. <laughs> oh, my God. And then after, after the game, you say, you Darvish, you say, I broke their bones, broke their spirit, and I broke their season. And, uh, yeah, which McCall? <laughs> which McCall? He had uh, a bus rolling. Said, uh, tweeted out the hand of uh, of uh, the Hamburg helper, and he, went, he goes, "Hey, left hands, you thought you're good?" And he went, "No, you're not. No, you're not." <laughs> and, uh, and now you got Colin Cowherd saying that. He goes, "This is for all the Mets fans who are arrogant about their wins in LA. You're just a loser organization. And watch your. It's gonna be fun watching your team go into a tailspin." He goes, "He goes." Uh, he says, the broken bones of Pete Alonzo. I want to, he, he, he actually is dancing. He's doing this like this in my hands. <laughs> He's Colin Coward. <laughs> Colin doesn't, definitely doesn't even talk about baseball, but it doesn't know anything did, about did baseball. You his, did you see his tweet this week? I didn't see his tweet. No, what, what was it? He goes, uh, he goes, oh, the Med fans have been so arrogant on Twitter. Watching get humiliated and embarrassed by my Dodgers. Oh, my God. Well, I don't think that happened. Well, you know, Pete, I hear the, the fear is they think that it's, it's, a, it's a nerve damage that he's going to need reconstruction surgery for Pete Alonso. That's why he's going for MRIs. And MRIs, every time they come up bad. Well, last night he got the initial x-rays, which is what you have to do when they think, you know, when you get hit like that. Came back negative. That's a good sign. If it was Yeah, well, you know that's never a good sign. Yes, if it's MRI MRIs will discover everything is wrong with him. Well, they they have to and do further you imaging. Have Dom Smith, who I hear is like one for nineteen in AAA, and then uh, with, uh, without Sonny Monte, it'll be it'll be Khalil Lee. You know Khalil Lee. You know he was actually born. James. He was. He legally he was changed his name. Why? Leo Lee legally changed his name because he wants a K in it. He said his favorite fucking letter. <laughs> okay, here comes Leo Lee. K K K. Come up to the K, 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 plate. K K K K Leo Lee. It's a swing and a miss and another and another. It's whenever Khalil Lee comes up. It doesn't matter where the ball is. He's going to strike out on a ball that's thrown. And Frank freezes while he's, while he's doing frozen. his Khalil Lee. <laughs> but for those, for those who don't remember, last year Khalil Lee had to come up to the Mets before he was ready because of so many injuries, and Frank called him KKKKKKK Khalil Lee, saying that he struck out all the He time. struck out 17 of 19 at bats. He did. He did. He had one big hit that helped them beat the Marlins, but. I hear that they, uh, they, they sent down to, to, to the single A because he struck out in 27 consecutive at bats. I hear he's, he's, he's batting 086 in Syracuse, and he has. 111 strikeouts. It's June 6th. June so, 8th. so he got sent down to Binghamton because he was struggling in uh, he was struggling in AAA this year. But Frank, I'm going to start reading the. I'm going to read his stats and then I'm going to read Dom Smith's stats because because I do I have been keeping up with it a little bit. Khalil Lee is batting 225 in AAA, 740 OPS, four home runs, 17 RBIs. Um, since he came back, apparently he's been hot. 
but they don't show those stats on on the minor league site. Sucks. He sucks. <laughs> he is Tommy. It, 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 the Mets will not win a single game. He's in the lineup. Dom Smith had the game had the game tying home run the other day for Syracuse, and apparently he's been hitting well down there. Yeah, well, you know what that means. You come up and they'll go, and Dom Smith is over for his last seventy-two. The Mets, the Mets are gonna go two and twenty in the next twenty-two. Now he's he has a because nine. I was trying to feel positive. This is what happens. This is what happens when I get positive. The last two years, last year they were ten games over. You felt positive. Shit hit the fan. This year, you felt positive after 19 games over 500, and now the two best players get injured after the two best pitchers are injured as well. <laughs> and uh, and and, and, then, uh, and then they had out uh, in uh, which one we call uh, 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 this morning Mike Greenberg. <laughs> this hurts so good. See ya. Because they just want LA to win. Yeah. Well, the Yankee Buster Only's column today was the Yankees starting rotation is so good. Frank really drinking a monster. Like, I, I literally was going to say that, dude. Frank drinking a monster on the show is a recipe for chaos. because yeah. He's already been on four rants, and I've seen him pour that thing faster than ever. Because he just poured that like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> he's chugging it. How many monsters <laughs> have you had this morning already? Just that one. Oh, oh thank God. It's one too many. Yeah. Frank, playing devil's advocate here because that's that's my job to do so. Pete Alonso's x-ray last night was negative, and, of course, the swelling has to go down. So good sign that it was negative. He has to go for further imaging today. That always happens with these things. Marte probably is headed for the IL. John Heyman said that, and anytime you hear quad tightness, you know it's probably a strain, and quads are tricky. So it, it you, know, you just got to hope that it's not a tear, it's not too severe of a strain, and that he comes back maybe in July or August. I mean, that's yep. the best-case scenario. Nope! See you in September. See you when the magic's are true. And the Braves get they get they get to play the fucking Oakland Triple A's. I hear they have 17 games against the Triple A's. And the Rockies, you know, uh, and the Rockies, the Rockies actually go whenever they they lose to the Braves, they, they actually they actually walk out of the field together like this, holding a fucking banner together. <laughs> that monster has him so active today. I yeah, <laughs> Frank has gotten up the most I've ever seen him get up <clears throat> ever, it's ever on the because show because of the monster. Dude, that's what we should do. We should do a monster challenge once we hit 10k. Frank's got to drink like three monster oh. cans. What what inspired that today, Frank? Because I couldn't fucking sleep last night. I'm in a hotel in goddamn motherfucking Atlanta. Oh no. Cheering on the Braves? I'm I'm actually going to the fucking Brave game tonight. Wow, nice. Frank. So you're going to witness the banner, the joint banner holding. Well, they, they, no, it's the Oakland Triple A's, and now the Mets are now the New York Triple A's. Because everyone's fucking hurt, and we're gonna get Kelly Ali. The the Braves cut it to eight games last night because they keep beating up on uh yeah, on bad teams. Good teams yeah. Next week it's going to be tied. The lead is gone. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> the Mets will not win another game before next week's podcast. Garen fucking see it. And the Braves will not lose a game. Neither will the fucking Phillies. I think anyone who counted out the Braves this early on in the season wasn't paying attention last year. I mean, you can't just you can't just count out the defending champs that are too talented. That said. I think the Mets are a better team than them this year, even no, you know, not. even we're, not we're, at full it's, strength. It's, not, it, 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 it's, it's broken. We're gonna get Dom Smith. Dom Smith, who's got an OPS right now of two twenty. So now, now is it's now or Lee. never. Khalil Lee, here's my prediction. Khalil Lee will strike out eighty six times in eighty six at bats and will not even make fucking contact. Well, Frank, I don't think that Khalil Lee's coming back. I think Nick Plummer is going to start, and Jeff McNeil will play left field a lot, as he has been already. Yeah, well, who's going to be uh, who's going to replace Starling Marte on the roster? He's going to be Khalil fucking Lee. Maybe Dom Smith. I think he's been no, he's, he's going to replace well. the, he's going to replace Pete Alonso. I don't I don't think Pete's going to go to the IL necessarily. If his hand's not broken, then he's probably not going to the IL. 
And now the Red Sox are red hot. So there goes J.D. Martinez. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of a pipe dream. Um, Frank, also best case scenario, Dom Smith comes up and proves he's actually an everyday player like he's been saying he is if he gets regular at-bats, and then he's trade bait. He will be... He will destroy his trade value. Ground, grounder, grounder, grounder. He will dig a trench with the ground balls he hits right in that fucking shift. God. I think the, the big concern also is the Mets' five most important hitters are the five top five in their lineup. Nimmo, Marte, Lindor, Alonzo, Jeff McNeil. All of them are playing hurt or now or hurt, potentially about to miss time. They all are, are dealing with injuries. This is the Dom Smith Space Heart. Dom Smith Space Heart. Can we see that? Can you show us? Put it closer to the camera. All the right field. Jeez, <laughs> that's a pretty good drawing. Yeah, that's really good. Frank, you're an artist. There have been more people on fucking Mars the Dom Smith balls have gone to fucking third base. Um, yeah, he, he hasn't really hit the other way very well. He had his four hit night that saved his roster spot in May. And then he went six for 46 after the four for four night. There's no way the Mets are going to withstand these injuries. They're going to be, they are going to be in second place by the all-star break. Um, well, at least they're happening now and not, you know, during the post. No, no, these are long-term season wrecking injuries. Pete Alonso is the. They always are. Pete Alonso. If you're on the team, if you're on the team, if that happens to a Braves, you go. Oh. Woo-hoo. The match, <laughs> for the match, everyone gets hurt every fucking year. Frank, the the Braves lost Ronald Acuna last year and won the World Series. Yeah, now Ronald comes awesome. back, and he's written nine ninety. Pete Alonso, Robbie Ike Davis. He's going to get Ike it just, Davis. It's really unfortunate because he's he's playing at an MVP level. He leads MLB with, with RBIs in RBIs right now. So it's it's really like – it's a crushing blow. The Mets don't have a cleanup hitter if they lose him. And they had – and Buster don't need to go, it's a bad break. Sorry, that's it. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally just waiting for that fucking phone to ring and leave the front office just be like, hey, man, is everything all right in there? Can you? <laughs> Guys, I'll never forget that video of you and Coach Stuggs. Coach Stuggs took that video of the, the hotel and somebody screaming. And it's like, you took, you're taking my freedom. You're taking whatever. They're screaming in the hotel room. This is exactly what it reminds me of. You are now the guy screaming inside the hotel room. They're going to report a murder at this rate. Oh, yeah. they, they probably had to last night when those guys, when Marte and Alonzo left the game. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't even imagine. So this confirms 100 billion, gazillion, trillion, billion, quadrillion percent that the Mets are the most cursed franchise in sports. Frank, I think you Love might be first. the curse, one. But two, think of it. The Mets are 13 and six since Max Scherzer got hurt. They're 18 games over 500 and eight up in first place without having Jacob Degrom all season. Yeah, we'd be a sense because they were hitting the ball. Now they're not going to even be able to hit the ball. Yeah, so that's why, like I said, those those two are Pete Alonso's the most important hitter on the Mets, and then it's Lindor and Marte's. Marte's probably the third most important position player. Yeah, well, you know Lindor's going to go. De- he's got he's playing hurt. McNeil's playing hurt. They're both going to be out soon, and then we're going to be watching. Uh, Travis Blankencorn back out there making <laughs> Travis Blankencorn says that he he says that errors make him feel so good inside it it <laughs> makes him feel like he's dan he feels like dancing every time he does an error as he bats oh 96 oh my god here's the match July 1st lineup batting first and playing second base Travis Blankencorn batting second and playing shortstop. Yes, that's right. Everyone is hurt. So we had a callback. Ty Kelly <laughs> batting third. Out of retirement. And he's already struck out twice. Khalil Lee. <laughs> yeah, Khalil Lee batting practice. 
He can't even fucking hit the ball off a goddamn fucking tee. Batting so fourth, Patrick Mazika, catcher. Batting fifth and playing third base, Eric Soupy Campbell. Frank, Frank, I think that honestly, even if Marte goes on the I, Marte is probably going on the IL. Even if Pete's all right and can avoid the IL, the Mets have to get a first baseman there tonight. And they have Plummer who can play the outfield. Cano play right. Plummer will play left. Um, I, I think Dom Smith's going to be on his way uh, to San Diego. I just I don't see how else. They don't have anyone else. J.D. Davis is going to play first base again. Yep. It's it, No. Yeah, the, I, the, I, Mets I, are, I, the Mets will not the, the Mets will not win another game on this road trip. Three and seven road mind, trip, total fucking disaster. Dom, Dom lost his... Um, Dom lost his roster spot because the Mets needed another pitcher, and he wasn't hitting. Um, Buck Showalter said he was hoping Dom – he goes, I know Dom will figure it out, and he'll be back and hopefully helping us out. Now, it hasn't been that long, but he has been hitting in AAA so far, and, and now the team actually needs him probably to play. Yeah, day, well, yeah, yeah, it, it's over. The Mets, the Mets are going to go winless the next week. Garen fucking see it. <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, this I is – this out of my bet today. This is the best team the Mets have had since 2006. I mean, it's and now it's there. broken. They're all injured. I I just like when you're looking around the league at other teams, what teams lost their top two aces and two of their top five in their lineup, and have all five of their top five hitters dealing with injuries. It, 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 the, the Mets are going to go in on on, on a, 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 a they, they will be back below 500 soon. Because it's everyone's fucking hurt. It, 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 you start fucking cursed. I think it's you getting positive. I think I think every time you get positive, it's that's when shit that's hit, goes Twitter off the rails. Does not understand. Yeah, they don't understand that. We need Frank to be negative in order for the Mets to be positive. It's, it's oh, well, I felt the most. I felt the most positive I felt in 15 years. Well, you said this. I'm on, 37 I'm on the night. Fun. Yeah. We need we need Buster only to to reply to Frank again saying I didn't write the article. I think that was the funniest thing to happen. Well, no, no. <laughs> this morning, this morning, he, this morning he's going, going, going. That's the way I like it now. Every time the phones are broke, he he is smiling. He is happy. He was in. He said that oh, the Mets have injuries and all is right in the world. Sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> this monster energy, Frank, is the best Frank I've ever seen in my life. Frank, what did you see? What his column was today? What he actually wrote, and I'm not, and I'm not even peppering you here. Did, do you know what what Buster's column was this morning? Yeah, basically. Hey, Mets fans, don't fret. The Yankees are healthy. Smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yankees rotation is so good. <laughs> Yankees pitching staff is so good. I knew you weren't gonna like that one. America's first and original hot dog company is Feltman's. Yes, that's right. Charles Feltman invented the hot dog, and now Feltman's is a veteran-owned business, which was revived in 2015 by two Brooklyn brothers, Joe Quinn, a former Army captain, and his brother Michael, and they did it to honor Jimmy, their brother who was killed in the 9/11 attacks. With a team of military veterans that have collectively served over 110 months of Combat Feltman's is now one of the fastest growing natural food companies in the United States. Their 100% beef all natural hot dogs are available for purchase online and at Whole Foods. Not to mention, they ship super fast and they'll be the perfect addition to your next family cookout. So remember, use promo code FRANK to receive 10% off all Feltman's products at Feltman's.us. It includes bratwurst, bacon, and hot dogs. That's promo code TANK for, uh, so promo code FRANK for 10% off all Items at Feltman's.us and allow me to be Frank is presented to you by Feltman. So remember, use promo code Frank for 10% off at Feltman's.us. Frank, I want to go back to something Buck Showalter has said a number of times already this season, because of course there's been a ton of injuries, but nobody's feeling sorry for our problems and our injury issues. They're glad we got them. That's what Buck says. And yeah, well, well, well and, and you're doing it on purpose. If there's anyone to weather the storm, though, you know, they are lucky to have that type of leadership. I, I, I think yeah, it, de it definitely made a storm. huge difference. They're not going to weather the storm. This, this is the, the, uh, the depth of nine billion cuts. 
what if Marte gets maybe, what, a four to six week recovery period of a strain and Pete Alonso avoids the IL? Then what? McGill's coming back this weekend. It doesn't matter. Everyone's hurt. Uh, it, it's only a matter of time before uh, Lindor, uh, Nimmo, and uh, McNeil are also hurt. And then we're watching a lineup that uh, that is uh, basically a double-A lineup. Well, they already are hurt. They're playing. They're all playing hurt. Yeah, on the injured list. They're, they're all gonna, they're, 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 it's broken. The season's been broken down. Right, this is what happens when I, when I start to feel positive. Only bad things happen when I'm positive. Only bad things happen. Ying to the yang. Need you negative. It is really. I mean, 10 games over last year, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much. When you look at this year, how good this team was and how big of a lead they jumped out to. Um, but, I mean, this year, yeah, getting positive. It, it, I'm here now to match my claim, uh, Roman Quinn. Who, Roman Quinn, who, who, who this year can't catch a cold. He says that Roman Quinn says that the ball off the glove is the thing that he loves. That's actually, honestly, wouldn't be a bad pickup, Frank, if they got him as like a backup outfielder. I mean, he's, at, he's having an awful year on both sides of the ball, no doubt. But, I mean, the Mets, Frank, these organizations put their hands on different Roman players Quinn. and they can... Roman Quinn says that says that when he gets ticked off, he says he says that he loves he, he, he. Roman Quinn says that since he's left, the Phillies haven't lost. He is a loser. Uh, so the Mets will lose 80 straight games if he's on the roster. It's either the hammer Khalil Lee, most likely. Yikes, pick your poison. Pick your poison, Frank. It, 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 it's over. At least Roman Quinn has speed. I'm going to need speed to watch this fucking team. <laughs> Frank, I think you're on speed right, right now yeah, with no. that monster. <laughs> no more, please. In other news, uh, I owe Frank a Mets cowboy hat, so that's pretty cool. I uh, hit a, like, a spectacular bet. I had a three-team parlay. Uh, I think it was four bet to win a little under a grand. So I said, and I needed the Mets to beat the Dodgers by two or more. They ended up winning by five. So Oh, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, that was Saturday. So I hit yeah. the bet, and now I owe Frank a nice Cowboys Mets hat. Looks pretty cool, too. So That's going to be hilarious. Yeah. Got to add it to the collection of hats. Yep. So Maybe when I'm in Texas. Yeah, when are you going to go to Texas? I looked at the states that you visited, and I saw that wasn't highlighted. And I was yeah, it might surprised. be sooner than you think. It might be sooner than you think. Ooh, a little, little uh, Tank takes a trip to Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger time. in Texas. Even well, this has already been, this has already been a wild road trip. Yeah. Started last uh, started last Wednesday. We went through uh, uh, the Pennsylvania. We passed. Uh, we went through the uh, the Hershey plant. We went down to uh, Tennessee, uh, stopping by the mayor of Knoxville's office. Really? Did you, get, you, uh, went, did you meet Bain? him? Yes, I did. There's a picture that was out last week. Didn't you see it? No, I didn't, actually. You do know who the mayor of Knoxville is, right? Um, no, I, I can't say I do. Kane from it's, uh, his, his name is Glenn Jacobs, but you know him better as uh, Kane. Kane? Oh, the mask. from WWE? Yes, yeah. he's the mayor of Knoxville, Tennessee. That's wild. <laughs> oh, my God. How was he? Was he a nice guy? Yes, he was. And there was, like, a whole bunch of people there, like, uh, they're waiting for uh, waiting for me and Doug's. It was basically something that uh, with Doug's with his uh, Tennessee uh, uh, thing uh, going on there that uh, he had a lot of people that were, uh, wanted to meet him. So we uh, posed, a, posed for a picture. And... Uh, we were at um, Knoxville, Tennessee last week. That's awesome. So what else is there to do in Knoxville, Tennessee? <clears throat> well, it's the home of Tennessee uh, Volunteers. Volunteers, yep. yep. Uh, then we uh, scooted over to Ch Chattanooga to try to watch a lookouts game that got rained out. Yeah. The Chattanooga lookouts, by the way, they play on a mountain. Ooh, that's awesome. So you have to take you have to take an escalator up to the ballpark. 
was a bit, and uh, the game got rained out, so we didn't get a really chance to watch it. So we did. We got in, and then five minutes later, oh, oh we rained out. There you go. Three funds, three funds, three funds. But it look, overlooks. It overlooks a mountain. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. This smoky um, mountain ring keeps on coming, and of course, I'm doing hot dog reviews on the way. So after Chattanooga was down to the USFL, and uh, before we get to that, we have to talk about uh, being smooth. Yeah. And uh, you know what being smooth is about, right? Elaborate. Oh yeah, being smooth. Yeah, of course it's summer. Yeah, being being smooth is especially important in the summer. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, it's the sum, summer is summer's here. The sun is shining. Shirts are off, and the, and your balls are smooth. Yes, you heard that right. Your friends at Manscaped are here to make sure your beach ball is as smooth as the Floridian sand. And, um, you know, in summer, you want to kill some beers, barbecues, and not the vibes with your pubes sticking out of your swim trunks. That is why Manscaped has their performance package 4.0 to keep the party in your pants looking crisp and refreshing all summer long. Dive head first into summer by joining the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with the code tank. Did I mention the trimmer is waterproof too from the shower to the lake, your chest scruff, all the way down to your ball throw. The lawnmower 4.0 is the best trimmer around. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code tank at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code tank at manscaped.com. This is the summer to turn your full package into a package with your package in a package from Manscaped. You get 20% off using code tank at manscaped.com and free shipping. Oh, so yeah. Frank, they, also have that, they, they have that little powder. Sorry to interrupt. They have that little powder mm-hmm. that you can put there when you start chafing. So when your ball starts to look like uh, bat wings in the summer and they're sticking to your legs, make sure you guys uh, buy the little powder at Manscaped too. So, yes, anyways. indeed. What were we saying, Pat? Uh, Frank, I see you're spending hot side, hot guy summer out on the road a lot. Um, how was the USFL game that you went to in Birmingham? Well, it, it is a bad football league. I mean, the, the talent, the, the, these guys don't. There might be one or two guys that deserve a look in the uh, in the training camp. Otherwise, these are guys. These are the first, these are the guys. This is a league of players that are going to be the first guys cut. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it it pretty much is like that. Uh, I watched the generals on Friday night, um, and there was a Garth Brooks concert on, so they had to use play all their games at Le- so they play all their game at the ancient decrepit Legion Field. So how was the um, how was the game itself that you watched? I mean, the the, the game is decent to watch. Uh, the generals are actually a good team. They're in, one of the. Four teams in the playoffs. They've they've clinched the playoff berth. They're uh, they're seven and one. Two games left in the regular season. Uh, Birmingham's eight and zero. The only loss that the Generals had was to Birmingham. Uh, these are the two teams that are clearly above everyone else. Then you got like a couple of the, you got like maybe uh, New Orleans is like the next level, and then you got Philadelphia and Tampa. They're decent, but. Uh, yeah, Philadelphia will make the playoffs. New Orleans will make the playoffs. Tampa will probably be out on the outside looking in. And then you got three teams that are absolute total dumpster fire garbage. And I'm talking about Pittsburgh, Michigan, and uh, Houston. I actually met the Houston kicker. I was going to ask um, you about that. How was that? That was uh, that was good. Uh, you know, he's uh, Zach Galifianakis' uh, cousin. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. so weird. And uh, he's he's a, he's a good kicker, but his team is shit. You think he'll his walk, team, find his way in the NFL? Yeah, uh, he he probably deserves a look. The uh, Generals won Friday night. Uh, Should have won even bigger. They only won twenty nine to uh, twenty nine to eighteen. Uh, they were up twenty nine ten. Uh, dropped pass uh, would have been a first down. They could have run out pretty much run out the clock. Led to a touchdown. Uh, the uh, Pittsburgh guy uh, hit a 61-yard field goal. Wow. So that, that guy might get a look. Yeah, he definitely will get a look. Um, then the next day, uh, we went out and watched uh, the, uh, the the New Orleans Breakers and the Birmingham Stallions play a 10-9 slog 
in the sun. Oh. The sun, just unforgiving sun with no fucking shade in uh, Legion Field. No shade whatsoever. The sun just beating on you for four fucking quarters. It was brutal. And the kicker for New Orleans basically hit, missed an extra point and two field goals, and they, uh, they lost 10 to 9. And uh, then me and Doug's got a chance. We had uh, three throws from the 50 to get the ball through the uprights. How'd that go? That went good. Uh, that's, there's video of me throwing the football. I saw you drop that. That spiral was clean. A clean <laughs> spiral. Loved it. <laughs> but, yeah. What else did you do on your endeavors? Uh after the game, anything fun? Yeah, we well, yeah, as I mentioned, we met uh, Nick Vogel. We went to a uh, went to a uh, barbecue place. The barbecue sauce there was ugh, not good. Went to a good barbecue place in Knoxville. Great, a great barbecue place in Knoxville. A hor- horrendous uh, barbecue place uh, in uh, Virginia near uh, Bristol. Barbecue reviews don't sound too bad, Frank. I think uh, you could add that uh, to uh, no, 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 no. Stick it, stick into just. And I'll okay. tell you why. And I'll tell yeah, you why. I want to hear this. It looks like Coach Dugs is going to do it. Oh, okay, nice, cool. Yeah, all right. So, so, I'll, so, Coach, so I'll leave. Let let cut. Uh, let Coach Dugs do the barbecue reviews. Right, walk you... so Dugs could fly. Yep, yep. So. Uh, uh, the Sunday we spent uh, uh, traveling back to Jacksonville, so Doug's could uh, pick up a few other things at his uh, old house. Did he move out of that place yet, or no? He still owns it, and he has like someone running. Oh wow! Smart okay, man, smart man. He lives yeah. in Hope. Does he live in Hoboken now? No, he lives in my apartment complex in Belleville. Oh, that's right. I'm stupid. Totally forgot that you guys are in the complex together. Um, yep. Uh, so uh, we went there. Uh, uh, I don't think Doug's is going to be staying in my apartment complex. Uh, the management people are nasty. They're terrible. They're they're shitty. The elevator keeps breaking down. You know, it, it's had a lot of bugs, and the people who run the place suck. Like actual bugs, like in your apartment? No. Like just like bugs, like like uh, flaws. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that happens in new construction. It's just that the people who run the place just aren't good. They aren't good. Well, that's yeah, unfortunate. Do you do you see yourself staying there? Probably because I hate. You hate moving. <laughs> because I hate moving. Yeah. But yeah, there's no. There's, there's, but it just it just continues, and then um. You watched uh, Top Gun on Monday. How was that? How was it? That was pretty good. I actually liked the uh, the, the top, uh, Maverick better than I liked the original Top Gun. Why is that? I just think it was a better story. She uh, she did not age well. Definitely did not age as well as Tom Cruise. And that's why she wasn't even in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Val Kilmer can't even talk anymore. And they found a role for him. Jeez. Uh, hand up. I've never seen the original Top Gun, so I got to go see that first. Yeah. Before I yeah. Yep. Yeah. The, 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 the original was like, uh, it was basically uh, like hot, two hot shot pilots were big rivals. Okay. And uh, Tom Cruise is one of the pilots, and uh, Val Kilmer is the other one. And this Makes one sense. was just a remake. No. No, it wasn't it a remake. Simple. It was it was a true, true sequel. Uh, um, uh, Miles Teller plays uh, Goose's son. How was he in the movie? He's pretty good. He's good. Yeah. But, uh, and Val Kilmer, who can't even talk anymore, uh, is now like an admiral. So, and he's uh, and he's and he had his his little role in the movie. <laughs> I mean, I, he he literally he he has like he has like that uh, you know that he's he had his his voice box basically removed. So he has like like 
Yeah, I, I, yeah. I got that. I got. I, I, I knew that was the impression you. Do were you making. remember those? You remember those commercials that were supposed to scare us, and like the lady had the hole in her throat, and she's like, yep. "I talk like this." Yeah. <laughs> scariest yeah. thing it is scary yeah, yeah it definitely scary yeah. well valco really is like that he's he he he, he did uh he, he's i mean smoke. he he's he's uh i guess been in remission for several years now but uh the the surgery and the uh the chemo he had left a la- lasting uh toll yeah of course of course and he was a smoker for a long time i i assume uh yeah, I would probably assume that. Yeah. Well, you, uh, you know who you know who that happened to, don't you? Uh, Legend- no. The legendary baseball player co- that had uh, throat cancer and actually died of from. Oh, it. oh yeah, Tony Gwynn. Uh no, that was, he died of uh, esophagus cancer. From from dipping though. Yes. Yeah. There's an even more famous baseball player that died of throat cancer, and um, talked like. <laughs> who, who was at it? the end who of was... his career? At the end of his life. Who? Babe Ruth. Oh shit! Wow, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, there's a clip of him. Uh, there's a clip of him from like uh, talking to the uh, like uh, when the Yankees retired his number in 1947, and he's giving a speech and he could barely talk. He, hey, I like to dance the game of baseball. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, that's not a good way to go. <clears throat> yeah, 1947, they didn't have. As much technology as they have today, and uh, no kidding. So it probably really hit him a lot harder than it hits people today. Absolutely. Um, Frank, shifting gears here. Rangers up to nothing in the series. Now it's two two. Don't <laughs> talk about it. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. They had two nothing lead in game three two, and it slipped. Away, yeah. slipped away. And look, I, I, I look at it this way. The Colorado Avalanche are the best team in the NHL. They dominated the Oilers. It doesn't matter if the Lightning win. I don't think the Lightning are getting a third straight Stanley Cup. I mean, they'll be lucky to beat the Rangers. The Rangers, you know, they got some good pieces maybe next year. But nobody, and I do mean nobody, has been Colorado Avalanche. Frank, you're a curse, so I just, I don't know if I buy that. There is nobody beating the Colorado Avalanche. I also don't think that the Lightning would be able to beat the Colorado Avalanche, despite being the reigning champ. I No, I agree completely. There is no way the Lightning are beating the Avalanche. This is the year for the Colorado Avalanche. You're just too good. You notice how it seems like the Mets' success kind of coincides with the Rangers' success. So maybe it wouldn't be the worst thing, uh, you know, for the Rangers to to pick things back up. You know, maybe Mets catch a break with some injuries. They won't. On what was that no, it, 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 it's never good news. <laughs> it's always Pat, bad what was news. that stat that you released on uh, when the Rangers won and then the Mets won? I forgot. Oh, what oh. Last time the Rangers were in the conference finals, and keep in mind they played the Lightning in, in that series, 2015. It was also the year the Mets went on to win the pennant. Well, they've the Ra- already made it. That. They've already made it there. Rangers. Well, that's what I said when they when they won in Game Seven last series and made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. The last time Rangers were in the finals before this year was 2015, when the Mets also went on to win the pennant. Except the Rangers lost in Game Seven to the Lightning at the Garden that year. So you're saying there's a chance? Well, we'll see. We'll see. I guess. I I, I think game five is is, is huge. If the Rangers lose uh, game five, uh, turn out the lights, the party's over. Yeah, I I mean they're at home now, so there's really no excuses. Um, so yeah, if they lose at home, I mean, but again, like they've shown a lot of resiliency and ability to bounce back in the postseason, so it's kind of hard to count them out at any turn. But obviously, it's not good mm-hmm. for momentum mm-hmm. purposes if they lose three in a row. No, no, turn out the lights. The party's over. Well, Frank, you were saying that at at three one. We were saying that at at two zero last series. You know, and they just they came back both times. You're saying we were saying it when the when Carolina was undefeated at home 
going into Game 7 uh, in the previous series. The Hurricanes are bound to blow one. And boy, they did a blue one. They blew one. They didn't show up. Hate to see it. Well, yeah, like I said, the, uh, it, it's never good news. You know it's going to be all bad news. So we'll probably uh, not see Pete Alonso until uh, August, and uh, Marte is probably going to be out to September. Is there, this Mets are fucking cursed. It's it's really like they have the worst luck with getting hit by these pitches, and it was bound to catch up with them at some point. And 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 every t- and when uh, Pete Alonso left the game, did you notice they were playing another one bites the dust in San Diego? Really? Yep. Well, I had like Phillies fans replying to me last night saying like, "What a shame! Hate to see it." And I'm like, "Really? Like you guys like are that low that you're going to be rooting for people to get injured?" Yep. That's really but, fucking classless. Well, uh, Colin Cowherd and uh, or should I, uh, or should I call him Colin Cowherd? And uh, Buster only, you know, they're happy. It's cursed. The Mets are fucking cursed. The proof is now unsurmountable, unstoppable, undeniable. I would I guess we try to argue these things, but I really want Frank to be negative because it'll flip the script here. And, and, and you know the Mets are going to lose today. There's just no shot they're going to win. They're, 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 I predict they're going to be shut out again. I think it depends on the on the news that they get, the injury news. Uh, but, again, again. again, they lost Scherzer. We thought that they were done. They lost Scherzer, and uh, they went. Oh, out, well, they, they had a special win. This is this is the one that breaks the back. This is the one. Well, I guess we'll find out. You know, either later this morning or or later today. Um, and in the meantime, you know, Frank and Frank, Nick Plummer will go back to being Nick Plummer. He'll 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 probably go like one for thirty. Uh, by the JD way, JD Doofus will uh, not will will uh, will his batting average will slip to two twenty, and and the Mets will look like last year. Though they did, they'll be they will be feeble. Frank, did you know Nick Plummer was a first round pick at a high school in 2015 by the Cardinals? I did not know that. And, and usually and usually the Cardinals uh, know how to pick players. Uh it's rare to see a Cardinals draft pick actually not make the Cardinals and do something. Well, the reason why that is is cuz he had he was dealing with wrist injuries earlier in in his career and then he lost a year in the minors because of the COVID pandemic and he's just 25 years old. So there is potential there. You know, it's not like maybe, he maybe he had he had a really good season last year between double A and triple A. And it was and it was just his contract was up. No, uh, no, he's no starting Marte. <laughs> not many people are. So um, on that note, I guess, we'll, you know, we'll wait for either a good. And the Mets, the Mets never have. It's, it's always at least six weeks, always at least six weeks. Well, with the strain and a quad strain, yeah, you can kind of. I think six weeks might be best case scenario. And you hear Buck Walter? Will he be back in lineup? He goes, goes, maybe they're gone for good. Bye, bye, bye. And and, uh, and uh, Buster only tweeting out the the, uh, the hamburger helper hand going, hey, my hands, hands up. He's saying, look at the Yankees. Look how fun this team is. Uh, and then, 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 he, then, he, then he was going, then he was going, he goes, my favorite, my favorite series on the morning is Sash Crackle Pop as the Mets season goes Snap Crackle Pop. Yeah, his favorite cereal is Rice Krispies, I heard. <laughs> Never fucking ends. Frank, we do have some ass to tank, though, in the wake of all this. And, uh, you know, while, while we're waiting to see if the, to, Buy a black suit and, and get ready for the funeral, or yeah, they're the, still the, 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 the Mets. The, the Braves will be within three games by this time next week. All right. Well, for Ask the Tank right now, we have Sal from Upstate who wants to know what players, what do players have to do that will make make you drop your nickname for them and have Jeff McFeeble and Easy Out Escobar gain your respect to call them their real name? Oh yeah, 
I haven't called uh, him Jeff McFeeble all year, but there might be a Jeff McFeeble coming uh, soon because he's starting to do what he did last year, fucking getting pull happy. He's also getting a little angry recently too, which which was not you know part of the struggle last year as well. Well, uh, that's why uh, that's why uh, Buck Showalter benched him on Sunday. Yeah, he said he said that and the legs, like they're just they're trying to manage his legs. He needs he need go back to spraying the ball. And, so, uh, what about Escobar? I mean, he hit for the cycle. Uh, well, I'll see about him. Uh, he's been, Frank, he's been really hot, and he worked a really good 10-pitch yeah. at-bat and with the go-ahead sack fly game on the line on, on Sunday as well against the Dodgers. I won't, call, I won't call him easy out right now. But if he goes into another one for 60 slump, that nickname will return. Do you have any positive return. nicknames? Are there any positive nicknames? No. Not one, right? I had like, one, and, and now his hand is uh, – Obliterated, destroyed, and he needs total hand reconstructive surgery. <laughs> oh polar, polar bear. I would no. I was calling him MVP. MVP. Yeah, Frank. I think yeah. I think things turned as soon as you tweeted that. True. Yep. You see, this is why I can't be positive. You see, Clem. You see what happens when I'm positive. You see, Kevin. <laughs> you see what happens when I'm positive. Kyle. Right. This is why I tweet that because I can't <laughs> be positive. So take your you fact checker end. and just just realize what I am doing. You need him to be negative for the the Nets the Mets to be positive. There's no other way this works. Anytime no other Frank way gets way positive, work. goes to bad shit. Bad things happen. It bad goes down happen. to fucking drain. Frank, you might just have to delete your Twitter. No. That might be the solution. <laughs> oh, no, that happened last week. You got hacked. You can't have that happen. <laughs> Wait, did you get hacked again? Or no, that was the... No, yeah. or maybe two weeks ago, but we had to have Doug's tweet for him, and that was just, that was crazy. That was a spiral. Nothing bad happened other than like a 3 nothing loss or something. No, I just, it didn't. Ed Luz Diaz had his worst game of the season. Um, Remind me of what, what was that blown San to? Fran- San Fran- oh, San, San Fran. Francisco. Oh, San Fran. And then yeah. the next day, Tommy Shapucky, oh, who's yeah. probably coming back soon too. I hear that uh, Thomas Shapucky in his last two minor league starts, uh, uh, in fact, actually, no, last three, he, uh, he pitched uh, yesterday, too. Uh, in the first one, he allowed uh, uh, one and one third innings. He allowed eight runs on seven home runs. Uh, uh, last week, uh, he had a game where he uh, pitched a third of an inning, allowed uh, seven runs and six home runs. And yesterday, he uh, did not actually record an out, uh, but the uh, – the other team uh, batted around twice uh, and hit 16 homers uh, and 18 runs. In fact, it actually looked like that Bugs Bunny cartoon. I don't think he'll, uh, he... that's that's Thomas the uh, that, that, that Thomas Chipucky, who next year will be the st- opening day pitcher. This is all the fucking injuries. Oh my God, what Thomas about Chipucky? Chipucky said the Thomas uh, well, uh, well uh, Jared Eichoff is actually Thomas Chipucky's idol. <laughs> that's actually. And, uh, <laughs> Frank Shursday actually asked, uh, how long until we see Shapucky and Blankenhorn back on the Mets? Uh, Blankenhorn and Shapucky will be back in the week. <laughs> you, you know, Travis Blankenhorn, he says, he says, when you lose, you want to just hug everyone. His losses. He says, winning is bad. It's evil. Oh my God. Travis. Travis Blankenhorn. He says that errors are the gift of God. <laughs> well, that's all the Ask the Tank we have this week. And uh, as Frank prepares for the funeral, remember to rate, download, uh, review, and subscribe. Follow Frank at NJTank99 for positive Mets tweets. Uh, Frank the Tank Pod at Regazzo Report at Real Mikey Betts at Reed Miller 515 at Nikki the Good, I believe. Unless you change it again. Um, Frank, take us out with a little uh, funeral music if you have some. The Undertaker. I believe he's looking for a song. <laughs> Yeah.
everyone is always fucking hurt. <laughs> Every year it is always fucking curse. Seasons over now the meds go in a spin. Everyone is getting hurt. <sighs> the misery never ends. Keys and peas. Keys and peas. <laughs>